fatal shooting at a Florida movie theater. A retired cop now charged with second degree murder after shooting a fellow moviegoer who was texting during the previews. ABC Steve Austin Sami is on the scene just outside Tampa. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, George. This is a high-end theater with incredibly comfortable leather chairs and waiters and waitresses who bring food and drinks to your seat. So it was quite a shock when someone pulled out a gun. They were there to watch a war flick, the hit movie Lone Survivor. A lot more than 10 guys. It's an army. But long before the gunfire got started on the screen, it was happening for real during the previews. Police say it all started when retired Tampa police captain Curtis Reeves, seen here wearing a white jumpsuit, got fed up with the couple on their cell phone in front of him and his wife. They say that 43-year-old Chad Olson, seen in this news report from 2011, and his wife Nicole, pictured on their Facebook pages, were reportedly talking loudly and texting away. Curtis Reeves asked him a few times to please turn off his phone. Chad decided not to. The 71-year-old retired policeman went for the manager but came back alone. Police say the two men started arguing, Olson trying to explain that he was texting his young daughter. That's when witnesses say the retired officer pulled out a gun and aimed at Olson's chest. Somebody throws popcorn, I'm not sure who threw the popcorn, and then bang, he was shot. He staggered two seats over, fell on my son and I. Olson's wife was wounded, trying to shield her husband from the gunshot, using her bare hand. She's a wreck. I mean, she just lost her husband, the father of her little girl. At the theater, people who were there tried to help, including an off-duty nurse who rushed to the bleeding husband and tried to revive him but couldn't. Something happening like that in Little Wesley Chapel, it's just I never even thought it would happen. As for Reeves, ABC News has learned he retired from the Tampa PD in 1993 and was instrumental in establishing the department's first tactical response team. Theme Park Bush Gardens confirms he was once their director of security. Authorities say he'll be charged with second degree homicide. Reeves has a son who's currently on the Tampa police force. We reached out to him last night and he told us that his father is still his idol. Reeves has a court appearance this afternoon. Robin. Okay, Steve, thank you.